Hi, everybody. It is the Urge Warriors here. Um, it has been a while uh, since I've checked in with you, um, and that is because over the past couple of weeks, I've had uh, some things to prioritize other than recovery. Now, I know that that's a taboo phrase um, for some people to hear um, because I do know that for some people, you know, as was the case with me um, during a certain period of time, recovery was the most important thing. You know, if we did not practice recovery um, and prioritize it before all other things, um, nothing else in our lives would kind of pan out right. And I know that for some people, um, that's the truth. Um, so my truth is that there are uh, some points um, where I need to prioritize recovery over most other things in my life. Um, I had gotten tremendous progress with my recovery from binge eating disorder this year. Um, so much to the point where I felt I was ready to put the videos away for a little bit, um, you know, and focus on other things. Uh, what I'm finding though is that um, the binging behavior starting to started to sneak up on me again. And in the past week, I've had three binges. So um, what I'm doing about that is I am coming clean and, and starting as a result of that to uh, do these videos more often again so that I can have more regular check-ins uh, to make sure that I am not letting the parasite um, make the decisions <laughs> um, in terms of uh, the, not only the way I eat, but the way I respond to life stressors because so many of these triggers for binging came from my outlook. I've been overwhelmed the past couple of weeks and I haven't been taking time in the morning to meditate and really kind of check in to set my outlook. You know, when I have triggers to overeat, it's because of it's, it's usually because of the way my mind is perceiving an external event and my mind perceives it as more stressful or dire than it actually is. And any kind of mental toxicity I have contributes to the binging. Let me say that again. Any kind of mental toxicity that I have contributes to binge eating. It makes me more vulnerable, more likely to give in to the binge. Um, so I'm taking accountability uh, for what happened this week in terms of my food behavior. And I'm taking it as a clue that I need to pause more so I can reset my mind to respond to the urges better. Um, and what I really want um, whoever's watching this to take away to take away from this video is that just because you slip back into an old behavior, it is not does not mean that you're restarting from day one. Um, I know that a lot of abstinence only type of recovery models can can frame it that way. Um, but I don't feel like I'm starting all over. I feel like I'm picking up where I left off and all of the growth that I've had this year and all of the times I made a decision not to give in to the binge urge, you know, regardless of whatever else I was doing, um, that's all contributed to my growth. And I'm picking up where I left off and I'm going to continue. And I think it's also important to remember that recovery, it's up to each of us to define our, our own recovery. I've been in recovery this whole time, um, but recovery is not always linear. I repeat, recovery is not always linear. And basically my intention for the rest of the day is to approach life and approach urges um, in a different way. To approach life and every situation 
with calm and gratitude to not make mountains out of molehills um, and to approach urges with a mindset that will allow me to separate myself from the urge and say, this isn't my warrior. This is not my warrioress. This is the parasite part of my brain. And this is what it does. It creates reasons. It creates reasons to have an urge so my brain can get that dopamine rush. But you know what? I can live without it. I can live without that dopamine rush. And I just need my warrior self to remind me of that. So I hope this is helpful to, you know, any of you out there that are struggling, um, you know, with any kind of addictive behavior um, and are looking to get some motivation after you have a lapse. Um, it's important for us all to remember our brain never stops growing. Neuroplasticity refers to the process of creating new neural networks in our brain and that never stops which means you are never too old too far deep in something to stop it'll be challenging but you can do it um and i'm doing it along there with you um and i need the support and solidarity of everybody who's doing something similar so uh please welcome me <laughs> back from my laps as I am, you know, welcoming you all back into my recovery journey and I will post again soon. Thank you.